Is learning the English language your toughest challenge yet? Become our student and get access to effective and free educational materials. Anne, would you please come in for a while? Please also bring along the minutes of yesterday's management meeting. Of course, sir, here's the minutes of the meeting. How long did the meeting last? The meeting was delayed by 30 minutes and it lasted for two and a half hours. Did the chairman ask for me? Yes, I told him that you were very ill and couldn't attend. All right, have you handed in my report to him? Yes, I did. Besides, here are all the reports and materials handed out in the meeting. I think you'll have to do some replies. Thank you, Anne. You've done an excellent job. Did they mention the date for the next meeting? No, they didn't. The chairman said he would send a memo to all managers by the end of this week informing them of the date of the next meeting. I take care of the letters. I may read, sort out and organize incoming mails. So you have to open all the envelopes? Yes, except the personal mail. And I also need to prepare the materials for posting and check the email box regularly. Do you need to file copies of the letters before sending them? Yes, and I check all the emails for Mr. Thomas. How can I help you? Yes, I am James Mason from Anderson & Associates Limited. I would like to see Mr. Smith. Do you have an appointment? Yes, he knows I'm coming. Our meeting is set for 2 o'clock. I wonder if Mr. Smith forgot your meeting. I am afraid he left this office this morning and is not expected back until 4 p.m. Let me find out if he made arrangements for someone else to meet with you in his place. Will you please have a seat? Sure. Yes, Mr. Mason. I just checked with our office manager, Ms. Terry. She said Mr. Smith briefed her on your project. She is just finishing up a meeting now. She should be with you shortly. Would you like me to show you around while you are waiting? That would be very nice. Thank you. Right this way, Mr. Mason. We can start with our front office. When Ms. Terry is ready, you may take the elevator at the front to the sixth floor. There is a conference room already prepared. Hello. Hi. Lucy, are you free to talk? Not really. I'm in a meeting. Can I call you back in, say, 15 minutes? Sure. Speak to you later. It isn't urgent. Maybe it is easier if I send you an email. Okay. I'll look out for it. Sorry. I can't talk now. Sandy. Can you help me contact these people? Sure. What do you want me to tell them? Well, I need to confirm the time of their classes. Okay. Where can I find their telephone number? They are all listed here on this sheet of paper. Is it their home, office or cell phone numbers? Unless it's marked differently, it's their home numbers. All right. What if I can't get a hold of them by phone? Then, you should email them with the information. Where can I find their email addresses? They should have them listed on their resumes. And if there aren't any email addresses? Then send them a SMS on their cell phone. Okay. That sounds easy enough. Have you called any of them yet? Yes. I called the first three people on the list, but they didn't pick up. Did you leave a voice message? I left a voice message on one just for the first person on the list. 
I see. What did you tell her? I told her that she should call me back at my office number. Okay. So, maybe I should call her again. Yes, that sounds like a good idea. She might not get the other message in time. One more question. It looks like some of these numbers are long distance. Do you have a calling card that I can use to get through to them? Sure, you can use this one. The PIN number is written on the back of the card. All right, thanks a lot. Don't worry, I'll take care of it. Great work. I'm off for the weekend. See you on Monday. See you. Mr. Wong, we haven't discussed the mode of payment. You know, Mr. Forster, this is a really large purchase. I am afraid we can't pay off at one time. We have to pay by installment. Do you mean you prefer a deferred payment? Yes, Mr. Forrester. When do you start the payment then? We'll start our payment in half a year and the total amount will be paid off within two years by three installments. We can accept that but you have to pay the interest. All right. Shall we sign the agreement now? Okay, let's sign it. Kenvir? Hi, it's Alice. I'm very sorry that I have a big favor to ask you again. How big, Alice? Last time you said that, I ended up working overtime four nights. Well, I've got a huge load of typing and Mr. Brown has insisted I get it done by tomorrow afternoon. Could you help me to type half of it? All right, Alice. But this is the last time. I also have a lot of work to do. Thank you, Kenvir. You're so kind. Hello, Ms. Patterson? This is Bill from Workmate Calling. I'm just wondering if you had a chance to look over the estimate I sent for your gala dinner project next month as I said in my email. We can help you with production according to your needs but we will only be able to give insight management support services on a limited basis. Oh, yes. I reviewed your estimate. But it seems like the project blueprint you sent with the estimate is not quite what we had in mind. Did you get a copy of the specs for this project? Yes. I have several copies, but they're all different versions. The latest I have is version 12. Is that current? No. Later we decided to opt for the prior outline, version 7. Hold on. Let me pull up your version 7 requirements. Oh yes. No wonder our estimate is a little different from what you had in mind. I see the version 7 also includes 6 additional hostesses and a cocktail self-serve bar that wasn't in the version 12. That will definitely add to your cost on this project. Become our student and get access to effective and free educational materials.